Hey there, sign up Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all. <clears throat> this is going to be for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. We're going to get started with the Oracle, and then we're going to go into your tarot spread. If you are interested in private reading, I am opening those up for donation for a little while. Just check in the description box below for that information. So, in the Lionsgate portal, let's find out what kind of energy is coming your way for the next couple of days. Plus, the advice in it is not just for a couple of days. And I think ever, most people know that, though. <clears throat> All right. Calling in your spirit guides. Higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for Scorpio, please, to help them on their way. Ascending, always ascending, ever expanding. This is from the Surrender or Power to Surrender deck. All right, we got two main things popping up here for you. We have Surrender to the Natural Beauty of the World. Taking a Relaxing Break or take a relaxing break, sorry, and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from the heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will help further you on your goals. Okay, and we're just going to keep on moving. Keep on moving, trying to get to that uh, tarot spread for you. I do want you to get the work though and get the messages. So go outside, <laughs> go outside. Maybe you could plan a vacation or a trip. Maybe that's what it's about. Confidence is not the same as having an ego. Confidence is very different. So there's wanting you to be confident in yourself because you have some kind of talent here that you could probably use to prosper yourself and to help others too. This would be being of service, getting something for yourself, but helping everybody else too. So confidence, Lionsgate portal, that's, uh, will bring you that trait uh, of, of enhanced confidence during this time. Okay, so that's good news too. Let's get the um, angel number messages. Four hour Scorpios. Then we're going to do a little spread. Nice. 13. I love this number. It always pops up when good things seem to be happening. Um, okay, 13. You are a conscientious worker. It says, I am confident. Look at that. I am confident. With your confidence card, it's just further confirmation for me that this is the right message for you. Um, 13 says you're a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and steadily working steadily towards your goals. Then we have 17. I'm independent. The quality of work that you can produce when, you, when you're going at it alone is unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I am independent. Okay, and then patient. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything's working out for your highest good. 1010, 10, if you notice, is the time on the temperance uh, clock. Like sometimes whenever there's a clock. Okay, so anyway, keep your thoughts positive as angels and your spirit team are working behind the scenes to get things lined up for a perfect time for you. So I am patient. I like that. All right, let's get another one. I'm feeling like one more. And empowerment was on the bottom. So maybe you're gaining rights back, power back. 
over something, and, and if it's control in your life even, no matter what it is, it's something that you, uh, that will give you power to gain control over. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, what do you have in the Sacred Rebels Oracle for you? Right away, we have Restore and Replenish. It's reminding me of the Four Swords, isn't it? Like a healing. Restore and Replenish. It also, I feel like a birth. So I feel like death to ego, birth to the you with the acknowledgement of your divine being to releasing allegiances. Okay. So, yeah, never, um, only pledging to be very allegiant to yourself. And look at, they have the same, like, the same positions, too. Have you noticed that? That's beautiful. Releasing allegiances. I'm trying to think of what all that would be. Let me do a clarifying card with the tarot real quick. Actually, let's just use the deck that we're going to use to pull from anyway. We'll see what it's saying about this. Really silly. So, something that you've been really faithful to, like maybe your ego, is not working out anymore in this energy. So, let's see. There's a closing. There's a completion. It's releasing, okay, so <clears throat> releasing allegiances. Let's see what this is about, Spirit. Please help us. What is this about? Yeah, okay. Being truthful to yourself, only yourself, trusting your intuition, not doing things somebody else's way because they say, but trusting your intuition with the high priestess, going inside, really ending up passively waiting for things to come to you because you know they will with the high priestess. Now, this could be representing a Pisces, but anything else that you depended to show you the way, you're releasing, and you're going to trust in yourself. With this esoteric knowledge, with the hidden knowledge that I feel like you've been getting information from, that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> Four Swords can be any kind of healing, by the way. This is a general reading, so it truly, it can be any kind of healing. Okay, so let's do a small little spread that we come up with. Uh, what's the issue or the situation for Scorpio? Surrender your ego. Okay, so it is not bad to want really a lot of stuff for you, for yourself. The Nine of Pentacles. I kind of have it in the reverse because there's something about codependency on, and I feel like it might be the ego. There's something stopping you a block from this entrepreneur spirit. And I don't know if it's an attachment to a person. It might be different. It might be for some people a person. Uh, for some people, it might be attachment to doing things the old way. Okay, the challenge. Let's see what the challenge is. So this is kind of being codependent a little bit. I mean, it it could just mean that you're in a partnership um, that might be inhibiting your independence. That person might be, or the energy coming off of it. <clears throat> Judgment is the challenge. You've got to release release this feeling of um, resentment, but also uh, release this urge to please somebody or something. Don't think this is the only option for you. So let go of resentments. Let go of, um, it, it, you know, your ability to say, hey, I want to go at it alone, but have spirits help instead, because I think that's what you're wanting here, but you're only seeing something working one way. What's in the past position? Eight of Swords. Okay, the reason why you haven't let go of this energy is because you haven't fully felt the emotion and then released it. You're still in the anxious. This anxious uh, emotion or feeling, it's coming in between the real feeling, like the idea of the feeling, and then actually feeling it 
um, somewhere in between there is anxiety and um, anticipation, but not a good feeling guilty. You know what I mean? It's stopping you from seeing this way out. So it's like you you need you need to release and actually feel and heal. Feel and heal the emotions. The anxiety is like being in limbo before you fix something that you could very well fix easily. But we're staying in this unhealthy guilt, shame, things like that. <clears throat> the near future. Lovers in reverse. The hanged one in reverse. Why is that in the past? Let me get another card for this near future so I can find out. Okay. Something needs to get balanced. There might be, look, somebody might have a court date coming up and that needs to be balanced. Or something's just not fair. And that might be why you're, um, it might be why you might be headed towards being very independent and doing something on your own. If, if it was a partnership, you know, any kind of work or anything like that, it might have not worked out either. Or a poor decision um, regarding what you gave or what you helped somebody else out with. That maybe now it's making things unbalanced and you might be needing something. I'm just feeling the energy of someone loaning someone money and then being like, okay, they haven't paid me back. And now it's starting to get to where I need that help back. You know what I'm saying? That is what I'm feeling. All right. So what is the uh, outcome here? And then we're going to, we're going to get some uh, advice from spirit. So what's the outcome for all of this? The four of wands. You, you hit your goal. You get to your goal, you reach forgiveness, you reach this happiness. Um, there might be an announcement of you crossing the finish line here, something really great. You may be meeting twin flame energy if you haven't already, but there's something about twin flame energy being felt here. <clears throat> but I, I think it's about this goal, like a lot of people participating for a goal. Crossing the finish line. All right. Let's see something else. Let's get um, advice from spirit or angels here. What is some advice for them? The Emperor in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. All right. You will be fine. This Emperor energy is about good firm foundations, ruling or being in charge of something or someone. This is the second time this has happened. Who did this happen for? Gemini. So strange. I've really not, I don't think I've even ever had a reading with the Empress in reverse and the Emperor in the reverse. <sighs> okay. There's a, there's an unhealthy relationship between these two people or between this uh partnership the knight of pentacles is a gift basically an offer that you have put in the work for and that you know might be coming or might not be coming but when it does come if you choose this route you know it will be dependable and work out and then any issues you have about starting um or something new, starting something new, or laying the foundations down will be much easier to get going. It will come faster, at least, once once you have the initial money to invest. And I think, I think this is about an offer of finance, finances. Sorry, I can't talk today. <clears throat> Let's get some more on this. I'm curious as to what if I got another deck into here. What would be repeating? So this is advice from spirit, okay? Is like, hang on, we know that things aren't the healthiest right now. There even might be a mother or father that's absent from a situation because something might be steady and slow. Maybe turning this into a power couple is slow but steady or a power partnership. This is coming in, though. So, Spirit, can you give us any more information? There's the courage of the lion. 
with this Lionsgate portal. We figure that was be coming in. Oh my gosh. There you go. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> so it's really saying that something's coming in for you and that this something is going to be reliable, dependable. I just dropped two more that are probably meant for your reading, actually. Yeah. Okay, so four swords, which I said this could be this um, repair and replenish, sitting out the fight, not arguing with people, getting a healing, healing something. The Queen of Cups, if it's about healing with the Queen of Cups energy, you're trying to heal um, your body, your your health overall by giving things more care. Even if it's attending some financial budget things or something with your uh, finances a little closer, that's giving it more love to heal. On the flip side, this could represent a person, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that would be someone who's very um, kind of selfish, goes after things, uh, uses love to get what they want. All right, Seven of Pentacles has me feeling with this, because uh, it was on the lovers in reverse, that you may be feeling like a choice is needed because you're not so sure if you're seeing everything come through that you were wanting. Or maybe it's just tough because you're having to be patient. You don't know the whole truth about a situation, and so that is why it's hard to be patient. But here, look. There's there's some kind of conflict, even if it's within yourself, it might be, because here's the emotions that we need to release is uh, whatever happened that caused us heartache or loss with the Three of Swords. And when we heal this, all of a sudden we get past the conflicts and the anxiety and the feeling guilty part. So we're kind of waiting for this truth to come in. I'm trying to have patience about that. I have the lover's card again. This time it's in the upright with the page of wands. Good news. I think your angels are saying good news to you. Hey, this is good news. Something new and passionate is coming for you. You do have several offers, but look, there may be one that's just not really genuine. And I think that is like a warning. There is one that's not genuine, and it's why this, this lover's is reverse for whoever this message is for. So, something that you feel like you can't trust, but I think it's going to be all right here once you do make, you're going to make the correct decision, in other words, that gets you to this good news coming in, or that this good news is coming in about. In regards to the lion, the strength, number 88 like the 8-8 portal. And this is all about strength, courage, compassion to get your 10 of pentacles. Even if it makes, if it makes you feel like, well, then I've got to get out of this commitment because something that you're in right now, not reflecting what you really want. And it's not reflecting how far you've come. Feeling guilty, maybe for partying with friends or for possibly overdoing it with drinking. It could be something like that. Feeling guilty, possibly for third party situations too, right? So that's what I've got. Your, your spread is really cryptic. King of Pentacles on the bottom might have to do with the Taurus, actually. Um, what else can we get you? Because I feel like that's not quite enough information something good coming needing strength needing patience ten of pentacles having it all prosperity wise it has to do with a commitment that doesn't work out but it's you you are still getting your ten of pentacles which is your stability your safety your money your um long-term happiness as well as your family's happiness uh everything with the ten of pentacles so leaving a legacy So we have travel of all the things you can do. Travel is in the cards for you. Medicine, veggies and fruit from the yellow to blue, like medicine, they're good for you. The healing, so the healing. Release, sometimes the only thing you can do is laugh or cry, it's up to you. And then shake it off, 
If you fall in others jeer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. All right, then we're gonna go to tea leaves. Wow, that, that was really quick. That was <laughs> super quick. Oh, look at that, confident. Be confident because here's the goldfish. This is to add confidence to you. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I love that. Where am I going? Okay. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, wall, a misunderstanding. Wall, a misunderstanding. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. And there we go. Get ready for changes in your life with the moon. Also, once again, trust yourself. Trust that intuition. All right. I think, I think that this is pretty good from here. You all have a really nice few days. Four, we're ending on four strong Aries uh, foundation and things like that. So thanks guys, sending you light and love. Thanks for joining me, bye-bye.